Hello everybody. Our sing thing of the week is the singer's formant. The singer's formant, or to give it its Italian name, squillo, is the particular quality which enables a human voice to be heard over an entire choir and symphony orchestra. Some voices naturally have a lot of it. Some voices naturally have less. There are several ways we as singers can increase the volume or rather the audibility of our singing as some of these ways don't actually increase decibels, but they encourage different frequencies to be prevalent in the sound, which means it is easier to hear. Many people feel that to get louder, we need to use more air. Increasing your airflow can make you louder in some parts of your voice, but putting more air into the sound makes it harder for your vocal folds to maintain contact with each other. It blasts them apart. And sometimes, particularly in the lower, more delicate parts of your range, using more air can make the sound unfocused and so therefore actually less easy to hear. Like this. Ah, ah. Adding more squealo into the sound is a really good way of increasing audibility without too much discernible muscular effort. It is also possible to sing extremely quietly, but with squealo, which is how a professional singer can be audibly singing pianissimo while the choir is singing and the orchestra is playing. Finding the squealo in your sound is fun too. Experiment with trying these three exercises. The first is one you might remember from the playground. Choose a comfortable pitch. Nya, 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 nya. Feel the sound in your nose. Let's do that one more time. Nya, 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 nya. The second exercise is one the old bel canto teachers used to do with their students. The voice of the witch. Nya, eh, 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 eh. Make an ugly sound, as ugly as possible. Nya, eh, 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 eh. The third and the closest sound to singing is to whoop like a peacock, like this. This sound needs the forward placing of the other two, but also a lower larynx, a bit of a yawn, and a raised soft palate. Let's try that again. Now see if you can move from whooping into singing and keep the sound placed with the whooping blade still present. If you try it out on Folk Song of the Week, it will be easiest on the parsley, sage, rosemary and thyme line to start with, as this lies higher in the voice. Parsley, sage, rosemary and thyme. If you can do this, see if you can keep squealo in the sound all the way through the song, even in the lowest passages. <laughs>